kid and Mr. Hitler If you think we're on the run We are the boys who will stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are kid and Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? If you think old England's done My darling, we have only a few short hours before the ship takes me to Elba but why don't you try to escape to America? No, I cannot escape my destiny. I must follow my star. Oh, Napoleon, the British hate you. They will kill you. Rubbish. already <laughs> dead. Then I will go with you. No, my darling. We will say goodbye now. Rubbish! <laughs> oh, Napoleon. British hold my army. <laughs> I will never know a love like yours, Napoleon. I leave you standing here, Murray. And in your care, I leave the most precious thing in my life. La Belle France. in my life. Everybody charging out like that during the, the national anthem. I thought at least you would have stayed, Wilson. As a sergeant, it was your job to set an example to the men. Well, I couldn't have it, sir. I just got carried off in the rush. Really? <laughs> Surprised at you, Godfrey. I thought you'd have shown more respect. I assure you, sir, it wasn't lack of respect. It was made. I had to leave rather quickly for a rather urgent reason. <laughs> <laughs> Do you enjoy the picture, Mr. Mannering? No, not really. I would have thought that a picture about Napoleon would have concerned itself with strategy and tactics. I thought we might have learned something. Instead of which, he seemed to spend most of his time chasing Greta Garbo around a four-poster bed. <laughs> well, that is strategy and tactics, isn't it? <laughs> well, I certainly learned something from it. It's a bit late to do anything about it now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Joe? Ah, oh, rubbish. Sheer rubbish, a wicked waste of one and six. Here, yeah, Joe, what about when he took his arms in the snow? Yeah, smashing. My darling, you have beautiful hair, beautiful eyes, beautiful lips, beautiful moustache. <laughs> hey, I like the bit when Napoleon was saying farewell to his troops. <laughs> hey, I know. Why, why, why don't we do all, do all do an impression of Charles Boyer? Whoever does it worst has to pay all the fares. Yeah, a good idea, Pike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, you start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me? Yeah. Oh, right. Me. Soldiers of France, our cause is lost. <laughs> Your Emperor will now say goodbye. With this kiss, I embrace you all. <laughs> that was rotten. <laughs> hey, how about this? There you go. Soldier to France, our course is lost. I'm all going to give you a nice big kiss. You done, <laughs> 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 You enjoy the picture, Sponge? Well, not really, Sarge. I couldn't see very well. Oh, Lord. You know, we should have sat in the ninepinners, Mr. Mannering. Oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't sit in those cheap seats down at the front. You never know who's been sitting in them. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a bit 
have a sing song. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the first in number, number one, one and the fun has just begun. Let's blow me over, let me turn it again. Stop that, be quiet. Blow me over, blow me over. 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 Blow Fairs, please. Any more fairs? Yes. Two to Warmington on sea, please. I must apologise for my men singing that ribble song. Oh, that's quite all right. I get far worse than that. Really? Yes. It's distressing for you. I get used to it. After <laughs> all, there is a war on. That's no excuse for slack behaviour. Oh, how very nice of you to think of me. I don't often get considerate passengers like you on my bus. Oh, <laughs> Charming woman, will Yes, yes, sir. Awfully nice. Very good. Awfully nice. Yes, yes. Uh, it's uh, really difficult dealing with men passengers who get over familiar. Oh, I don't know. I think she can look after herself all right. You know, she probably gives them a punch on the nose, I should think. <laughs> don't be absurd. Hmm? She'd a glance at perfect lady. It's very hard on her working as a clippy. Oh, I don't know. She's just doing her bit. I realise that, Wilson. You can't help wondering if it's right for a lady like this to be exposed to the riffraff that travels on late night buses. <laughs> Hello, Napoleon. Been taking your boy scouts on and out in, have you? <laughs> We've been to the pictures, Mr. Hodges. Oh, that's marvellous, isn't it? Jerry, Bull, Jerry liable to invade any minute, and you not go to the pictures. What did you do? Leave a note on the beach saying, Dear Hitler, please do not invade tonight. We've all gone to the cinema. <laughs> Yeah, tuck me one, please, dear, and a big smile and a tickle at the terminus. Tickle at the terminus? Excuse me, Hodges, how dare you speak to a lady like that? What's the matter with you? Show some respect. Uh, it's quite all right, sir. Would you please sit down? Uh, take the notice of him, dear. Sure, take it. Thank you very much, all the same. I really do appreciate it. I'm happy. I'll be in gallant tonight, sir. The Warmington on the sea, next stop. Oh, oh. Now, listen, Whistle. All right, sir, yeah. I don't want a repetition of what's just happened in the cinema, of course. When this bus stops, I shall get off first. Right. Tell the men. Right, so just, uh, just pay attention a minute, will you, please? When the bus stops, stay where you are and let Captain Mannering get off first. All right? Good morning, good morning, Steve. Red Lion. There we go. <clears throat> it's closing time in five minutes! <laughs> May I say that not only was I shocked by that disgraceful exhibition in the cinema, but I was deeply hurt to think that my platoon could behave in so disrespectful a manner. May I speak about Captain Mannering? Yes, Fraser. Well, sir, speaking purely for myself, I didn't intend any disrespect, so not at all, so not at all. It was just that uh, being a student of history and a man of superior intellect, I was fair scunnered by the historical inaccuracies in the film. Oh, <laughs> I stuck it as long as I could, sir, but in the end I felt I had to... I had to speak to the manager about it from a, an intellectual point of view, sir. You understand? Yeah. And what happened? I got my one in six back. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Speaker? Yes, Corporal? I'd like to say, on behalf of the rest of the platoon, that we're all very, very sorry. Yes, yes. sorry. 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 That's, uh, that's all very well, Corporal. But fine words, butter no parsnips. What are you talking about? Butter, you can't get it, and parsnips is out of season, isn't it? I'll get you butter. Any time, I'll get you butter. Joe, stop talking. Now, I don't intend to overlook this, so I'm going to make the punishment fit the crime, to quote the words of Gilbert and Sullivan. What's Gilbert and Sullivan got to do with it? To make the punishment fit the crime, the punishment fit the crime. Be quiet in the ranks. Are you telling me about Gilbert and Sullivan? That will do, Colt. Now, you'll come to attention while Sergeant Wilson plays the national anthem. And you will stand and reflect as the notes of this glorious tune float through the hall. Platoon, at hand, hut!
Well, what's wrong? That was the German national anthem. <laughs> you could besides, I wasn't listening very carefully. Well, do listen. Pay more attention. Mr. Mary, that, sir, we're... I've got an idea. Why don't we all hum it? God save our... Yes, all right, all right, all right. We, we know the tune. This is all your fault, Well, I couldn't help it, sir. It says on the label, um, national anthems of all nations. But play the British national yeah, anthem. But the point is, whereabouts is the British uh, national anthem on the record? Where do you expect it to be? It'll be first, won't it? Right, sir, first, all that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Corporal? Yep. Take charge. And don't dismiss the men until you have played the national anthem six times. Of course. Wilson? The office. Right. <laughs> oh, and Joe. <laughs> Jones. Sir? See that the men stand rigidly to attention throughout. Attention rigidly. For heaven's sake, I beg your pardon. Good evening. What are you doing in my desk, Vicar? May I remind you, Captain Mannering, that this is my office and my desk, and it is only through my good intentions in this hour of our country's need that I allow you to share it. But I have a lot of work to do. Well, the Vicar's got a lot of work to do as well. You sir. keep out of this, Wilson. Right. <coughs> okay, Vicar. You know perfectly well that you can work here all day while I'm busy at the bank. I'm sorry, Captain Mannering, but nothing is going to make me get up out of this chair, and that is that. Hey, Jones, are you there? We didn't want to stand here all day. No. For goodness sake, next time, one, speed it up a bit. Yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> oh there, there. <laughs> Come in. Oh, it's you, Walker. What do you want? Yeah, I just wanted to have a word with Captain Manor. All right. Psst, oi. Hmm? I've got your cheese. Go on. I've got your cheese. Go in, sir. Now, the Yes. It isn't for me, of course. No, no, of course not, no. You know I don't approve of that sort of thing. No, no, in that case, I'll take it no, back. No, 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 no. <laughs> for my wife. Very partial to cheddar cheese. Orbit on C92, please. I say it looks absolutely delicious, sir. Well, take your dirty fingers off it. My wife's got to eat it. <laughs> Do be a bit more hygienic, Mr. Wilson. After all, my cheeses are untouched by human hands. They're packed by monkeys. <laughs> Can't wait to see my wife's face when I show her all that cheese. <laughs> She's a vegetarian, you know. I planned it as a little surprise. I thought we'd have a nice little toasted cheese supper together. That will be cosy, won't it? That'll be all, thank you, Walker. Yeah, right. Uh, I'll uh, put it on your account. Yeah, oh, by the way, there's your two bottles of uh, milk stout. Thank you. <laughs> right, no, no. Thank you very much, Walker. Good Sorry. night. Good night. Can't you, uh, can't you get any answer from us, sir? No, it's very strange. I think mean, what's happened? I see that. That cheese looks delicious, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Mm. <laughs> 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 Melts in the mouth. <laughs> Is it really? Mm. Elizabeth will be delighted when I take that home. Yes. Wonder where on earth the woman's got. Hello, Elizabeth. <laughs> take a long time to answer, dear. Where have you been? <laughs> Boy, she. <laughs> She's been down in the air raid shelter. Oh. <laughs> I thought perhaps. Uh, we could sleep in the um, in the house tonight, dear. Yeah. I mean, after all, we haven't had a raid for over a week now. I just... oh, very well. <laughs> yes. All right. I uh, I might have a little surprise for you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. Was... <laughs> Anything the matter, sir? <laughs> no, 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 no. Sir. Had her supper and she's going to bed. Oh, I see. <laughs> didn't you, uh, didn't you tell her about the cheese? Wouldn't listen. Oh. Funny thing, isn't it, Wilson? Whenever you plan a surprise for a woman, it always goes wrong. Uh. <laughs> so looking forward to that toasted cheese supper. I don't know, I'll never understand women if I live to be a hundred. I don't know, Wilson, why, why don't we have the toasted cheese supper here? 
What do you mean, just us two together? Yes, yeah, just you and me. I mean, we got some bread and these two bottles of milk to start. That's very thoughtful of you, Wilson. Thank you, sir. Now, somebody wrote once, didn't they? I forget who, who it was. The love for a woman waxes and wanes like the moon and the stars. But the friendship of a man lasts for eternity. I value your comradeship, Wilson. Thank you, sir. It's, it's very kind of you. <laughs> By the way, you won't forget to pay me for your half of this cheese. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> right, now you make the toast and I'll cut the cheese. All right, sir. Right? Right, right, right. I will. Oh, for heaven's yeah. sake. Come in. Oh, excuse me, Joseph. Well, gents, I'm off. Night, night. I say, that's a nice looking piece of cheese. <laughs> you get a little stack of Yes, it. and there's only enough for two. Oh, what a pity. Now, I'll have to eat these kidneys on my own, won't I? Kidneys? <laughs> what kidneys? Well, it's hmm? these kidneys, I'm taking them home for my supper. Oh, no, 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 don't do that, Cole. I'm, I'm sure there's enough to go around. Yes, right, now, then, well, we can... I can fry them up domestic, can't we? We can have toasted cheese and kidneys washed down mm. by some nice milk stout. That's what I call a real milk. Very <laughs> tasty. Very sweet. <laughs> 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 What we're doing tonight. Well, that was absolutely delicious. You know, sir, reminds me of the time when I was at school and we used to have midnight feasts in the dorm. Really? <laughs> <laughs> the school I went to, we didn't have any midnight feasts. We had a marriage with a few aniseed balls in a corner of the playground. <laughs> The school I went to, we didn't even have a playground. <laughs> oh, that was lovely, that bit of cheese, boys. That was really lovely. I suppose the fat is hard to get makes it taste more delicious. Yeah. You know, there's no doubt about it, was it? <laughs> Forbidden fruits taste sweeter. <laughs> I never forget when I was in the Sudan, there was this native girl. <laughs> <laughs> she was beautiful, beautiful. Well, I think she was beautiful. It was a bit difficult to tell on the point of that she was covered from head to foot, except for eyes sticking out. <laughs> when I say her eyes were sticking out, I don't mean they were sticking out on stalks. <laughs> I mean, they just looked as if they were sticking out, and on account she was covered from head to foot. If you get what I mean, sir? Yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was love at first sight. And I went round to see my colonel to tell him, and he said, sit down, Jones, I'm going to talk to you like a Dutch uncle. He wasn't really my uncle, that's just a saying, you know. <laughs> Matter of fact, he wasn't Dutch either. <laughs> he said, look here, Jones, he said, you only desire this woman because she's covered up and is hiding her mystery. <laughs> <laughs> you take my advice, you won't have no more truck with her. So, I took his advice and I went round to her house in order to tell her I'd like to discontinue having truck with her. <laughs> I a knock on the door. Then I looked through the slapless work, and there she was, having a nice wash down. And do you know, the Colonel was absolutely right. When she wasn't covered up, it wasn't her eyes that were sticking out. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I heard enough, thank you. Don't tell me. It's absolutely true, you know. Women. I'm very difficult to understand. Yeah, you're right there, we'll see. But Mr. Manning here, he's got a nice way with the ladies, haven't you, sir? Not really, no. Oh, I think you have, sir. What about on the bus the other night when the warden was getting a bit obstreperous with that nice clippy girl? I, I thought you was very chivalrous to her, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no doubt at all that she was a very charming woman. Very charming. I somehow don't see her turning down a toasted cheese supper. <laughs> oh, well. Good night. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Good night. He's almost human sometimes, isn't he? <laughs> you ought to be in pictures. You're wonderful to see. <sighs> you wake, Elizabeth. Oh, I shouldn't have eaten all that cheese. <laughs> Far too rich. <coughs> T 
two o'clock. <sighs> Where are the bismuth tablets? <laughs> going, Marshal Ney. I can't see a thing. It's your own fault, sir. I told you we should have sat down the front in the ninepennies. <laughs> How are you looking, Gordon? Good news, sir. Ruth does arrive. Really, I'm in no mood for playing the piano now. <laughs> Majesty. Yes, Captain General. Sure, Ave. Who news terrible? <laughs> You've lost the ruddy battle, mate. <laughs> Wellington, there go my brave Highlanders. Give them hell, lads. Yes, they're awfully good. Oh, my feet are frozen. These damn boots leak. Why don't you wear a pair of Wellingtons? He doesn't take my size. <laughs> waiting for you to sign the surrender. Oh, very well. But first, I must say farewell to my troops. Bring that little upstart over here. The Duke is waiting for you to sign the surrender, Your Imperial Majesty. Very well. How do you do? How awfully nice to see you. <laughs> Your name? Bonaparte. Initial? N. <laughs> Versailles, the palace. Uh, what street is that in? Oh, it isn't difficult to find. I see. All right, will you... Will you please sign that? Pen. I'm sorry, but I never, ever lend my pen to anybody. Have <laughs> this one, sir. Ten francs. <laughs> Why is it so expensive? Well, it's a very special pen. La Plume de Martin. <laughs> I can't sign this. Look, just sign here, Napoleon. You've no alternative, man. You're beaten. What are you going to do with me? We are sending you to the Isle of Elba. Permission to speak, sir. Mm. The men are waiting to say farewell to you, sir. Very well. What are they going to do to you, sir? They're sending me to Elba. And it's expression, giving you the Elba. <laughs> <laughs> well, goodbye. I'm awfully sorry you lost. <laughs> Bye. 
Michael. Missing to kiss you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, sir. I had my sister Dolly send you some upside down cakes. <laughs> my mum won't half be pleased when I tell her I've been kissed by an emperor. <laughs> Soldiers of France, our cause is lost. Your emperor must say goodbye. With this last kiss, I embrace you all. <laughs> Look, Look at that tank. They're open. You know, those Frenchies fought awfully well. Ask them to have a drink with me. Right, oh, Duke. Oi, right, Napoleon! The Duke wants you all to have a drink with him. Only two more hours together, my dear, before the ship sails. I can't bear to see you leave, Napoleon. Nor I to leave you. But you must be brave. It's the fortunes of war, you know. But we still have two hours together. Why don't we have a farewell toasted cheese supper? <laughs> <laughs> toasted cheese supper. Just you and I. Please give me something to remember you by. A likeness, perhaps. Take this. Think of me sometimes. I shall keep it always. <laughs> you punch me on the nose. Past eight. Good heavens. We're late for the bank. <laughs> <laughs> you awake, Elizabeth? Elizabeth. Why were you late last night? I'm not speaking to you today. 